A very warm welcome uh, to the London Stock Exchange this morning. Um, it's wonderful to have you all with us. Uh, we are especially honoured uh, to have with us this morning His Excellency Dr. Bandar Haja, President of the Islamic Development Bank. Um, thank you for coming to probably your only country of operation which gives you snow in March. I firstly wanted to thank you, the host, the London Stock Exchange for their hospitality. The Islamic Development Bank is a multilateral development bank established 44 years ago. I truly believe that the Sukuk can change the world for better, for investors, but also for the billion of people who benefit from the growth it drives. I want UK to be at the heart of this movement and today's summit is a great place to start. Thank you so much. London, as the world's leading international financial centre, is uniquely well positioned to support global growth in Islamic sector financing. Our world leading banking, insurance, legal and tech sectors are the strengths and ideal partners for Islamic finance community. I'm really pleased to be here today at this important event, uh, a major uh, Sukuk Summit taking place here in London and there are visitors from all around the world coming to this uh, summit and we should be really proud of that but it's also a huge opportunity. Islamic finance is uh, growing uh, around the world there's more and more demand for Islamic finance and as the financial capital of the world it's really important we're for products that are in demand and London should be at the heart of Islamic finance. Islamic capital market is, is based on two main pillars the first one is Sukuk market and the other one is equity participation. So it is very important if we really need to raise long-term investment, we encourage such uh, uh, conferences that bring experts together to discuss the future of the Islamic finance in general and Sukuk market in particular. Islamic finance characterized by many characteristics First of all, it is based on risk sharing and also it links a real sector with the financial sectors and also avoid any excessive speculation. And this will help and this is very important for the global economic stability and sustainable growth. 